So now let's do a basic mechanical rigging inside of Cinema 4D. In order to do a basic mechanical rigging, first of all, I'm going to go over here onto the side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a bunch of capsules, which I'm going to rig up. So let's say these are the capsule right here and I'm going to convert them into a polygonal object right here so that I can resize them out just like this. I'm not going to resize it like that, but I'm just going to select out uh, the shape right here. So just select this out select out the points, select this out, and I'm gonna drag it out. I'm not gonna worry about the details because uh, I don't need to worry about them. So there you go, this is it. So I'm going to create something like an arm over here. So I'm going to click and drag this out over here. So let's say this is something like an arm right here. Let me just bend this out a bit so that you get an idea. So let's say I want it to actually uh, bend around on that side, just like this. So there you go. And this one as well and rotate this one out as well. So let me just rotate this one out. So let's say this is something uh, like a mechanical arm which we want to actually rig out. So this is what we want to work around with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the joints right over here. So I'm going to bring in the joints uh, so that I can do a basic IK rig to it. And to bring in the joints, you simply go on to character right over here. And from character, you bring in joint, just like this. So there you go, that's the joint. And this is the starting point over here. And in order to start adding joints, if you had to click it, you see nothing happens. You have to actually go over here. This is the basic joint which actually was started, which is on the right spot. This is the area which we want to control. Now, in order to add in more joints, uh, I'm going to go over here. Make sure you are on joints tool first, and then you hold the control and then just click. So once you click it, you can define where you want to put, put, put the joints on. So you just keep it over here and you hold control and keep the joint over here, over here, and over here. So this is at the final place where I want the joint to be. So you can see that there are three joints accordingly right over here. So that's the joint over here. Mistakenly, I created two joints, but over here, once I created the joint, you can see that it actually came inside capsule. I'm just gonna bring it outward so it is not linked right now. So you can see that this is the first joint, this is the second, and this is the third. So uh, I'm able to move this around so I can go over here onto the live selection and I can move this but they are not actually related yet so uh, what is happening is that this is the object right over here but the uh, shape right here is not actually related uh, out so they are not linked together so I need to link them together first so they're right out on the center on uh, this side let me see from this side as well they're in the center so from the uh, front side and from the side you can see that they're in between uh, the object that we want to link to so that's fine so you got the first joint second third and finally the controller joint right over here this is the end joint so the first joint is something that should be linked up with the capsule the first capsule so i'm just going to drag this out and make it a child of this first joint right over here uh, for the second joint, I'm going to drag in the capsule one. That's the second capsule. I'm going to drag it in, in joint two. And then the third joint, drag it in, in the uh, third joint right over here. There you go. So now what happens is that if I were to move out the joint, nothing happens for this one. But if I were to move out this joint right over here, you can see that they are linked all together. But right now it's not moving according, according to what we actually planned for. So what I have to do now is enable something called IK, which means inverse kinematics. And what that means is that uh, we, can, we can control everything in an invert way, meaning uh, it use, uh, uses the final uh, item right here to control the motion of the first item right over here, which means inverse kinematics. So I'm going to add an inverse kinematics to this by going on to the first joint, that is joint one, and I'm going to right click on it and over here, I'm going to uh, go on into my rigging tags right here. And here is where I can find my IK. So let me just click on that and there you go, IK. So I have to define a few things before I can start working with IK. So first of all, I have to define the end joint, which is this one. So I need to define the final joint right here, which is not uh, parented to anything. I'm just going to drag it onto the end right here. So that's done. Another thing that you uh, might want to do is create, that is you have to do, not might, you have to create is at an end goal. So that's a null object, which is actually added at the end. So let me just click on 
at an angle. So you can see that you see a sort of a line here. And if you are to actually go over here and move it, so you have to move the end goal right over here. You can see that now this happens. So the joints are acting as if it is a part of a regular body, just like this. So you can see that we can move it around and you can see that it's a bit off. That's not a problem right over here. So you can just move this onto the side over here and then arrange everything out. So let me just arrange this out. I can nudge it in uh, to make everything straight so it actually works out. So I can go over here, go over here, and you can see that everything is straight now. Now I can go to the joint and actually work around this. So I can go around the joint, click on the joint, and there's the thing right here. So you can actually move around just like this. And the great thing is you can animate this. And this is how inverse kinematics works, as you can see. So as you pull this apart, this actually looks like a, an arm. So if you are even going on to character animation, then this is something that you'll be using a lot. So joint is right here. So if I were to move this out over here, so move the joint over here onto the side maybe, and you can see that this is how it actually lo lo works like. So move it down onto the side, and there you go. The bending, everything happens, and all of the objects are linked together, as you can see right there. So that is how you can work around with the IK rig inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.